Hello, and welcome to our overview for the Commanders in Civilization's Leader Pass. The first of the Commanders is Tokugawa Ieyasu, who has the ability that international trade routes take 25% yield in tourism, however domestic trade routes provide culture, science, and gold for each specialty district at the destination. This allows Japan to rely on itself and make it more viable as long as it stays close together, compact, and uh, does not trade internationally. All cities within six tiles of Japan's capital are also 100% loyal, and after researching flight, receive plus one tourism for each district within the city. It also gets the ability that all districts receive additional standard adjacency bonuses for adjacent districts, once again emphasizing that Japan should stay close and compact while playing. Japan also has access to two unique uh, things, just like all civs. Their unique unit, the Samurai, is a medieval era melee unit that replaces the Man of Arms and does not suffer combat penalties when damaged, so it can still fight at full capacity when hurt. The Electronics Factory is a building unique to Japan which provides plus four culture to the city after researching electricity. Its production bonus is extended to all city centers within six tiles that do not already have a bonus from this building type. So if you only have it in one city, as long as you've stayed compact, you will still get the bonus, regardless of where it is. The second leader of the great commanders is Nader Shah of Persia. His ability, Sword of Persia, gives combat strength when attacking full health units, and it also gives him the, the ability to have cities that are not founded by him receive plus two faith and plus three gold when domestic trades routes are given to them. This emphasizes you playing Persia as a conquering force, taking over other cities to gain bonuses when trading with themselves. Satrapes, its other ability, gives you plus one trade route capacity when political philosophy is researched, and gives you two gold and one culture for routes between your own cities, once again emphasizing that you can make Persia uh, isolationist, as it doesn't need to trade outside of itself to get what you need. It also means that roads built in your territory are one level more advanced than usual, meaning your trade routes can finish quicker than they normally would. This also, of course, gives you the bonus of being able to move troops across your empire faster. Persia has two unique things, the first being the Immortal, which is a melee unit that replaces the Swordsman, the melee class unit with a ranged attack, which is pretty helpful, basically the equivalent of an archer, and it has strong defensive strength when being hit by other units. The Paradeza unlocks the builder ability to construct the Paradeza, and it gives you culture and gold, as well as appeal for each adjacent holy site and theater square to the Paradeza. You also get gold for each adjacent commercial hub and city center. Basically, these special buildings are going to make your empire thrive better. These, however, cannot be built in snow or tundra, so make sure you're staying in uh, warmer climates. The final great commander in the leader pass is Suleiman the Magnificent. His ability, the Magnificent, gives him 15% more science and culture when he's in the Golden or Heroic Age. However, when he's not in those ages, he gets more combat strength, meaning that he can use Conquest to get himself to the Golden or Heroic Age he didn't quite get to. His other ability, the Great Turkish Bombard, gives him 50% more production towards siege units, and all siege units gain more strength when they attack districts. Conquered cities do not lose populations when they're taken over, and cities that are not founded by the Ottomans gain an amenity and plus four loyalty per turn, making it easier for the Ottomans to hold on to cities as conquered. It's two unique things. The first, the Barbarian Cos Co the Corsair, is a unique medieval naval unit that replaces the Privateer. It costs no movement for coastal raiding and can only be seen by other naval raiders if it is right next to it. This unit also reveals naval raiders within sight range, so if somebody else is using a naval raider, you'll be able to see it. You also get the Grand Bazaar, a unique building to the Ottomans that allows you to accumulate extra strategic and luxury resources from your cities. These are the three great commanders that were available in the Leader Pass and will be being played in the Great Commanders game coming soon to the channel. Have a great day, and Keep fighting out there.